Okay, so this is a brand new 99 V2 that I have. Um, my other brand new one, I had to give it to a guy. Uh, I didn't have time to mod it or anything, so I just shipped it. Anyway, for those of you that do not know how to do the frequency conversion on this, um, simple. Easy peasy. It is simply one wire. Right here. If you look right here, you will see. Let's see if I can expand this some. Let's see if it'll focus. If you look right here. Where's my damn pin? You will see that it is soldered to one, two, three. This is the wire here was originally soldered to number three right here. You simply have to take that and solder it to number two. One, two. One, two. It originally was here on the third one. That's just the way I'm counting it. Nothing else has to be done. The thing was only on 28. Band switch. Nothing worked. It was on D. So now you simply put it on E and it's converted. Now, I am also going to do the negative peak compression mod on it too, which is called MPC. It makes it swing like crazy. <laughs> Here's factory swing. I'm going to turn the power all the way down. That's it down as low as it'll go. 25 watt slug. Average. I just want to see average. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's not really even a watt. Average swing. Now. I'm fixing to do this. For those of you out here that are scanning the YouTube channels, I hope this frequency mod helps you. But of course, one more thing. If you don't like me doing the MPC mod, <laughs> too friggin' bad. Talk bad about it all you want. I don't care. All I know is when I get done with it, this bitch is going to be swinging seven and a half, close to ten watts average. Talk about it all you want. I don't care. <laughs> it is what it is. Get y'all later. I'm gone. <laughs>